guys welcome back to my channel what I have for you today is we're going to be using our molds again some air dry clay and some paint and I hope to make some really cute little um, pieces of decor to just set around uh, either on a plate stand or just kind of snug it back in in greenery I think this would be beautiful and if you would see it out it would cost you so much so let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this. I'm just using really simple things. This is the top off of the Dollar Tree brush holder here. I, so I just took the bottom off. So that's one thing we're going to be using. Then that paint can lid that I had the other day, I have it. And then I have a plastic coffee can lid. Gonna use that, okay? Then you'll need your cornstarch for your molds. And you're going to need some gesso. I seal metal with this before I paint it, okay? And then you're going to need some Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut. Love that color. And then I'm going to be using my Waverly white wax. My brush that I am totally obsessed over and probably some other brushes and then my molds and I don't know what ones I'm going to be using it's the IOD molds so we'll just see so let me get everything flipped down and we'll get started with this adorable it's still farmhouse French country little DIY it's basically a trash to treasure project okay you'll need some light grit sandpaper and I just scuffed up this plastic Dollar Tree top and then wiped it off so I wouldn't have any of that little grit. Did the same thing with the paint can top and the coffee can top, all right? So I'm going to start applying a real, not real thick coat of gesso, but I wanna cover this. It's kinda hard to see it on this white, but I'm covering it all over. Like I've said before, I think you use less paint when you do this, and it seals that surface and, and um, makes it easier to paint on, I think. Don't want it real thick. Okay, here's this. I know you can't see that. Then we'll do the blue one. I just don't want any real thick, like, gummy pieces where it's just gobbed on there. Okay, that's what we're getting. This will dry really quickly and I'm gonna take a hair dryer to it as well. You could put people's initials monogrammed in this with stamps if you wanted. You could really do a lot with this. Don't forget your lip right there. Okay, now I'm going to dry these with a hair dryer and then I'll be Okay, the first one I'm gonna work with is this. All right, and you can make your molds um, and let them dry and then paint them. I always just do it wet, um, but I'm going to be using this Laurel mold, okay? And I've got my IOD air dry clay, and I may dip into my Daz clay that I got off of Amazon, and there'll be a link for this in my Amazon storefront in the description box below. Okay, but what I want to put on this one, I think I'm going to put these two laurels. I could put a B or a, or a crown. I might put the B. I kind of like that. I like it all. <laughs> that 
that's my problem. And you just kind of roll it out like this. And then we're just gonna put this right down in here and just push it in the mold. I love this stuff. It makes you look so, like you're such an accomplished artist. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then with that micro rim, I just take my thumb. Like I've said before, you can take a um, spatula or like a putty knife that's plastic and come across it. You might be able to use a metal one. I would just be afraid that I would hurt the molds, it may not hurt it at all. And you know what I didn't do? I didn't put my cornstarch in, so this is probably not gonna be fun to come out. If you use your cornstarch, they just pop right out. Let's see, hopefully this one will come out clean. If it was really intricate, it probably wouldn't have. Oh, love this stuff. And I'll use my cornstarch, definitely. And that's what we're getting. Look at this. Oh, love it. So let's see how we want to put this. I think I might put this like right there. I've got to go get my tight bond glue. I forgot. This will pop right out. Now pay attention and don't do like I did and not put it the right way. <laughs> I am a total mess. What can I say? Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do. So now I'm going to get my tight bond and just apply this to the back. Like I've said before, you can use a pop, like a craft stick, um, a brush, anything to apply it. And you definitely don't want to get it in your molds, so be careful. Make sure you get it all the way to the end. And I'll pop that one off, but we can fix it. Just take this and there we go and you will never know okay and just press down gently without distorting your image I'm going to flip this over put my glue on here Flip this back over, bring it up here, you can have these meeting at the bottom or not meeting, I kind of don't think I want these to meet. glue puddled right there. I need to get that out. Just press down good. 
Make sure you have good adhesion. This is what we're getting so far. I think that is already really cute and so easy to do. Just make sure you have good contact. And I love tight bond. Ugh. I love it almost as much as I love these molds. <laughs> All right, so we've got that done. Now I think I'm going to put a B in the center of this. You could do it however you want it. It's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm gonna get some more of my, I'm gonna get my cornstarch and flour this B. I tell you, the possibilities are really endless with all these molds. Okay, so I've got this. I know I pulled out too much, but. We'll definitely be switching to our Daz clay. And we'll see what I think of that. Clay left, I'm gonna put it in there. I'm going to pop this out, clean up a little bit around that edge where I didn't get it really well. Look at that bee. Okay, now how do I want my bee? I think I'm just gonna put it right in the center. And while we're working on these, this is going to set up a little bit of, get a little bit of a skin to it. Okay. Get it in the center. Just press down. It's down. I could have put it down further, but this is what we're getting so far. Is that not gorgeous? So pretty, okay? I'm gonna clean up that. Now we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go wash these molds. You can't use hot water. I don't even use warm water on these. I use cold water, not ice cold, but you know, cool water and a toothbrush with light hand soap on it. That's all I do. So I'm going to clean this and then we'll do the others and then we'll Okay, for this one, I'm going back to my bird song mold from IOD. Love it. Okay. And I'll just use the remaining clay that I have uh, to do this. And we're going to do this bird right here. So let me just get this going. And I need to Put some cornstarch in this mold. Okay, we might have enough of this IOD to finish this. I don't know, we'll have to see. And then we'll go to our other. I know a lot of you have told me you're obsessed with these molds too. <laughs> Flip this little bird out. Look at that, how pretty. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna take this, turn this upside down. Put 
fish down. That's what we're getting so far, okay? And I want this one to have a little border around it, so I'm going to go to the classic elements I used the other day and get this right here. I'm going to put some cornstarch in this. You really don't need a lot. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the Daz Clay from Amazon. Now this is wetter in consistency than the IOD, I will tell you that. This is much more of a wet consistency. The IOD is wet, it's just, and this is sticky where the IOD is not sticky. Half of this will be done with IOD and half will be done with the DAS. And I'm gonna put this in a, in this and just shut it, you know, protect it. Okay, and then we'll let this By it being a little wetter, it um, I think tears a little more. also a little grayer than the IOD clay but that's not going to matter because we're painting it so you can see the difference the IOD and then the DAS but we're going to paint it so I said you know like I said that's really not a game changer or anything okay but it's very um, it sticks. So I'm going to put a lot of cornstarch in here. It wants to stick to my fingers when I push it in here where the IOD clay didn't. I find the IOD easier to work with because it's not trying to stick to my fingers. I mean, you can see I didn't have that with the IOD, so let's just release it. I mean, this will work, and it's it's good clay. I'll use it, but.
Okay, I will tell you. I'm not that fond of this clay. I'll leave it in my Amazon store. I mean, it works, but it's so much harder to get it out of the molds to do anything with it because it sticks to your fingers. I mean, look, you don't get that with the IOD, but it does work. You can use it. I think that's adorable. Um, I just have to put it down. And look at that, so pretty. Now I'm gonna take this. And it's not because I have glue on my fingers, because I did this with the IOD, and I didn't have any trouble. Okay, we're going to press down. Okay, here is this. Here's this one right here. I think that's so pretty. Here's our little bird one on that Dollar Tree brush stand holder. And then here's this one. Now, I would have preferred putting like a border around it but to be honest I just didn't want to have to deal with this clay. Right, I'm going to pour me out a little bit of that Waverly chalk paint in hazelnut. You could mix baking soda in this if you wanted. Would be really pretty. I'm going to get my brush going to start with this one since it was uh, done the first and it should be a little more dry. I think I'm going to switch to a different brush I think for this so that I can get in all these little places I think I'm going to switch to this brush and I need to be really careful with my molds. I painted this coffee can lid first then I wouldn't have to worry about getting down in between that those little molds I think it would have been easier and I don't want to fill up my dimension with my molds this is what we have so far with this one I kind of wish I had let this blue come through it was giving a nice aged look um, I kind of really like that but I didn't I could sand it off a little bit so that's that one now we're going to go to this one 
going, I think I'm going to put them all the same color. I'm add a little bit of water to this chalk paint because it's a little thick, I think. And I think this will help me so much. Okay, here is this one so far. Look how cute that is. I love it. Then we're going to do this one. Like I said, I'm going to keep the same color. Paint the outside. Okay, here's this one so far. I really wished I had put something else around it or turned this upside down, but I didn't. So let me dry these with a hair dryer and then I think I'm going to put some antiquing wax. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Waverly antiquing wax I really do love how this one is turning out. It's my favorite so far. It's just really cute, all right? So I'm gonna take this, get in my lid just a little bit. Just kinda come down through here and then just dab. In places, I don't want it real a lot. Gonna hit the bird, I want him to show up more. around the bird. And I'm going, to, I'm going to seal all this once I it dries. I'm going to go seal it with that spray waterproof spray sealer, men wax that I bought. Okay, I'm liking this personally. Now, if you want more or less, you could do that. It's totally up to you what you do, but I like that. Now we're going to go to the B. And with the B, I'm going to be a little heavier. Now, I really like this one. Like I said, if you do this, paint this first. Your, your, if you're gonna do a coffee lid, paint it first, then apply your molds, and if you wanna put a second coat, you can. 
then you won't have that blue, but it kind of looks a little aged, so I'm okay with it. Um, I would have preferred that I didn't see it, but I do. And it's not, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. <laughs> Cause I think it's cute. All right, here, look at that one, okay? Then we're gonna take this one. I really like them all now. And I could wait and let when this clay hardens some more and get around that blue much better, okay? So now I'm just going to do the same thing with this antiquing wax. Just swirl it around. You can put as much or as little as you want. It's entirely up. To you. Okay, let's take a look. Well, at here they are. Here is the bee. I really do like this. I think that is adorable. If you would see that out at Hobby Lobby, oh, you pay so much for it. And you could paint the back, I will later. I just didn't want to take time to do it today. And there it is around the side. But look at that, how beautiful that is. I love it. Okay, then here's the bird on the Dollar Tree container. I really like this one as well. Has such character, it just looks old and kind of chippy love this okay and then here is this one now this one is really cute as well I wish I had turned this upside down and I think it needs some more um, embellishments around it and maybe a little bit more paint to really pop it uh, I really wish I had put this one and then turned it upside down here and then put something in the center, but I didn't. But I think these are so clever because you can do so much with these. I mean, you really can, look at that. You can set these in um, plate can holders if you want. You can just nestle them in among greenery. So pretty, the sky's the limit what you could do. You could put people's initials, you could stamp on this stuff. You wouldn't have to do the molds, you could just use stamps. So don't throw away your lids. <laughs> you could even just do this on wood if you wanted to. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you Monday for a Cricut DIY, I have no idea what. And then Tuesday, I'm planning on a really awesome DIY. So excited, so farmhouse, so French country. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here she is and say, I was buried all the way down in my blankets. Yes, I was. I couldn't even find her. <laughs> She, you would never know she's around the house unless she wants to play or she wants to go out or um, someone comes around and then it's emergency. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. I know you all do too. Say hello. Say, well, I will let you go now. So let me see just what this looks like just sitting around um, on probably my server. Let's take a look. Well, here is the bee. Now these castings are still wet. 
and I have it sitting by my little container I made. But just look at that, how pretty that is. It really looks like that it's made out of stone or something like that. I'm trying to get out of the light. There, I think that might help. It really does look like it's made out of stone. It is so beautiful, really from any angle. I just love how this turned out. Then, here's my other one that I made with that Dollar Tree brush holder top. Look at that, how pretty. And I have it sitting in front of this that I made with my molds. You could totally sell this because you don't have hardly any money in it once you get the molds. And you can stamp on it as well. And then I just have this one right here because I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. But I can just see these nestled in with greenery. I love these, they are so adorable. So, until next time, bye guys.